Good morning, honey. Where did you get that color low that you have there? Got it in our backyard. From the garden? Yes, and it's super soft, super tender, chicky chicky render. Wow, can I see? Can I see your hand blocking it? Wow, look on the leaf, them all them big. Not a worm in sight. No, sir. I will forget now, go on, so. Hmm? Yard belly. Yard belly garden. Mm -hmm. And watch it. We get all tomato. One tomato. Two tomato. Two tomato. Two tomato. Three, Three, Three tomato. tomato. Four. And of course, we have pepper. Pepper. And guys, this morning, let me show you what I do over here. So, this is couscous. Right? And just put some kalalo mixture. This is kalalo with okra and seasoning. I may toast the couscous. Let me show you the couscous. Let me show you the packaging. It's called Israeli couscous toasted pasta. Yeah. So you just put some kalalo in this with a little butter. And you're going to toast it up. And then once it gets to a nice brown stage. You add a little water. I might add some rice to it and make it be couscous and rice because you know it already. But I turn it and I make fashion right here on Yard Belly TV. Yeah, see there? You just want to do this nicely. Let me turn on the light. Yeah, you just want to toast it up nicely. Yeah, in this butter with the kalalu. And then I have a pack of rice here. So I'm going to add a couple, you know, maybe a cup of rice to it and show you the end result what they call Tony and make fashion this is kalalu couscous and rice i think it's gonna be nice you hear the rhyme there you hear the rhyme there yeah, yeah. watch and see watch and see so here is my two cup of rice i'm gonna add it to the couscous to the cuckoo by bonjour cuckoo by you know babes you know so i'm not gonna put water i'm gonna use a little bit of coconut milk with beef stock May I infuse flavor. Infuse it with flavor. Look there, guys. Look there. Look there. May I add a little bit more color, look. And make it toast up a little bit more. And I'm going to make a nice... Guys, you see, you can't eat the straight white rice nowadays. Because you know it's not too good for the structure. So this is how you offset the white rice by adding a whole heap of different things to it. You understand? And I promise you, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. It has to. I said it's going to work out. And that's what it's going to do. Watch and see. Watch and see. All right. So now we reach at a comfortable place with the rice and the kalaloo and the couscous. I'm going to just dump in. Guys, don't follow me. I do my things different. You understand? I'm just dump in my coconut milk right here. So I'm use the entire package. Z entire package no this is unconventional as i said before but it's a great opportunity you see me just have a mixed you know this is crazy right do no, this is crazy this is crazy and when you try to put in milk you always put the powder one this is, you know say so somebody come for me baby the other day promise cut me youtube channel but I didn't come here for you to sing. I'm not going to even finish watching the video. I came. You're wasting my time. You should delete your page. I mean, I said, I want to immediately. I said, that person have problems. Yeah, bitter, bad. I'm full of problems. But God knows the way through the wilderness. Yes, the Lord shall add iniquity to our iniquity. <laughs> Guys, look on that. Toasting it up, yeah? Nah burning it, nah burning up. When we're ready now to make it turn into the full dose now, I'm gonna do that. Watch it now. See, once we get that incorporated, we know that everywhere in it have coconut milk. Now I'm ready for my broth. Yes, I'm gonna put in some broth in it now. Yes, and look where the wife over here is with seeded watermelon. Watermelons with seed. When last have you seen watermelon with seed? Amazing. Amazing, but while she's doing that, here goes my beef broth. Watch it now. Watch it now. You just stop right there, sir, because you don't want to use pure broth enough. 
You see me? I'm going to use water too. Because the broth is too, too much sodium, don't be it? Mm -hmm. Can you notice me not adding no salt in it? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to have it there. There's some more want it. Let me grab some water. I me not make it too full, you know, I just want the water to circle right on the top, you know. Mm -hmm. Right there, so. Right there, so. Right there, so. You're a rice bro, no? No, man, I'm an expert in it, man, from the other day. I'm going to need a country pepper now. A solid country, you know, you know, say, that, that color loo is supposed to add pepper in it, so it's supposed to be nice. Mm -hmm. Right there, so. And you just turn down your stove. To the lowest denominator, and then you want to get the pot cover. Pot cover. Pot cover coming up. And you just cover him. Cover also. him up. That is it. That is it. And guys, after about fifteen minutes on moderate heat. This is what we have. Yes, yes, may I tell you the, the rice turn out great. You understand? The color low, everything. It just, I can't explain it, guys. I cannot explain it. But you have to try this in your neck of the woods. Here is the finished dish. We just served it up with some stewed chicken and some tomatoes and cucumber. And this is how you turn your hand and make fashion. Yes, turning your hand and make fashion simply means you use what you have to make something awesome. And that's the, the motto of Yardy Belly TV. Remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about Yardy Belly TV. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, to put a thumbs up on this video. And keep watching Yardy Belly TV for more great recipes and awesome, awesome creations. Big up on yourself and remember me tell you.